Hi, Graham from Coal Tool Centre. For those who have already seen our video on getting rid of water from the compressors, you would have seen that we um, one of the suggestions was to go to a heat exchanger, which is um, what we will go through today and show you how to manufacture your own. Save yourself some money. Um, the first thing you're going to need is your two, a drum. These I'm making one today for a 415 or three phase um, compressor. So it's a 200 litre drum, three quarter copper pipe, some fittings on the end, a cable tie, and the tools we need, we're gonna need our grinder, which has got a cut off blade to cut the top out. We're gonna need a drill with a hole saw, a pipe cutter, once we work out how to cut our pipe, a uh, pipe bender to get the angles correct from the copper. So first thing we start off with do, we're going to cut the top, start to cut the top out of this out of the box. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Um. God. We have blue stuff everywhere. Um, so we've gone around. And uh, once we've got that, we can remove the top section. Not easily, but you can remove the top section. Anywhere we might not have cut through, we'll have to go through and cut. Discard the top. Now you can go around in here and clean that up with a grinder so you don't have any sharp edges, etc. But what we'll do now, we'll just go through to the next section, which is drilling our holes. So around about this high from the top, we're going to fill the bottom sections full of water. And from here, we're going to have a filter regulator on one side, on the outlet side, and your inlet. So we'll basically do drill our two holes in here. Just going to pre-drill the starter holes with a decent drill. One there, and about so far so we can actually turn our filter rig to get it on. And swap that back for our hole saw. Okay, through. Second one. Okay, I'm going to move the drum. And we'll work on the pipe now. So now we're going to um, Cut our pipe. This is enough pipe to do two lengths, so we're making two drums, so we need half of this. So what we normally would do is spread this out a little on the bench. And the reason we're doing it on the bench is because we're going to make a coil. Now as you can see that's a little bit bigger. So what we're doing is rolling it on the bench and bending the copper to this size here. So it's all going to be that size. So we're going to have a coil that's that size. So we'll just finesse that into shape, make sure it's all around about the same sort of size, if it's a bit bigger or that in places, we just adjust it up and down, use the bench as a guide, doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll try and get it all very similar in size. Next we want to work out halfway because we've got, got to make two out of this, so halfway between there and there is that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So that's about there. So these are gonna be about nine meters long. Pull it apart. Now, we're going to use our tube cutter. Cut our tube. Right, so this is half. What we're going to do, this bit has to go to the top. 
So we've got to pull that through the centre and drag him up around through the centre. Now, the next thing we have to do, we've got to try and get all this straight. So you can see we're going, one's going to be the outlet, one's going to be the inlet. So we'll try and use this pipe tube bender. We're just going to move over here and, and bend and bend the pipe on the vise to give us some support. So yeah, that's looking good. Maybe we're a, bit, a little bit low, so we'll bring that up and up and up. So that's getting close to where we want it. We don't want it on the bottom. Work out a coil so they look a bit even. Basically, put a couple of toes clamped on here. The reason being that stops it the, the going back into the drum. That's all we need it for. And the last thing we put in is our cable tie. So we basically drill a hole opposite where the outlets are. So basically, all we're doing now is lifting up our coil here getting it in the centre and our cable tie is going to go through there around here so we just adjust our cable tie until the coil is in the centre not touching the sides and we're pretty well done our last component is our outlets and this is three quarters so we use the uh, outlet which is height fitting on that end and a half inch on the other end there's one there Right, those up. Okay, our septum pipe is a little bit squashed, so a trick to fix that, we just get our um, adjustable spanner and just tighten it up and go around. Tighten it up again, go around, tighten that again, go around. So you do that a few times until you get your pipe round enough so that you can get it on. There we go. On the outlet side we put our filter filter rig or just a straight filter and on the inlet side the air comes in runs around our tube which has got water inside here filled up to about there and that will cool the air so that it gets picked up by our filter over here. So we're dropping the temperature of the air so that the filter can actually pick it up and clean up all in here, etc. So you know, you get fit finesse it, make it a bit nicer. I hope this was helpful. Um, it'll give you an idea of how to put it together your own heat exchanger, so you can drop the water out of your um, compressor as much as possible without going to a refrigerator dryer, which is the next step. So if you had a chance, have a look at um, how to get rid of water out of compressors. I'll put a link in the in the description below.